Hi, my name is Ebony. I'm the owner of Ebony B Photography Studio, as well as the creator of the I Am Clean project. The main reason for the project was for me to gather young African-American women together and show them what value is, show them what being a queen is in today's generation. So this project is actually my baby. As a young girl, I was picked on because I was different, because I was dark, because I had short hair. And I realized that my nieces, my nephews, and even kids that I work with on a daily basis are going through the same thing. They're, they're seeing what's on TV. They see girls with their, their hair long, their clothes tight, body parts showing that shouldn't be. And that's their reality. That's what they see. That's how they see themselves and that's how they want to be. This actually pushed me to do this project because I want them to realize that being dark skin is okay. Having short hair, having nappy hair, or even wearing a weave is okay. It's just you knowing who you are, who you want to be. That's what makes people realize that knowing who you are is what makes you unique. The original name of the project was From Queens to Bad Bitches. Um, the reason why I thought of that was because um, I'm from the project and I see a lot of young girls walking around calling themselves bad bitches versus valuing themselves as queens. But as the months went on, as I start taking so many pictures of these beautiful African-American women, I actually decided to change the name to I'm a Queen. Um, the main reason for that is because we, they already know what a bad bitch is and it's sad that these young African American women don't know what a queen is. So I thought that I would more than likely just focus on the aspect of being a queen versus a bad bitch. From queens to bad bitches means to me from being dominant to just being bossy just fine as hell. She's very bossy, but yet chic. A queen, which I am, um, very professional, very dominant. She just takes, she takes the power. Just the, those two terms themselves, um, queen, royalty, respected, high, you know, put, see yourself Set high standards for yourself, set high, you know, look at other women and see those standards, respect yourselves. That whole bad bitches thing, I just, I don't know, it kills me sometimes when women refer to themselves as bad bitches. I just feel like you're a woman and you should think of yourself and see yourself as a good woman, as a queen, as a respected human being. Well, in today's society, what I see for my own people, I see that we are lost in translation with forbidden culture. And that means that we have been stripped of our culture and we have adopted someone else's. And we don't even use our own language. We are using adopted language as well. And the forbidden culture part is because soon as you go and try to show some culture, you're either weird or you're crazy or that's voodoo or whatever the case may be, whatever society don't understand or overstand for that matter, it's weird to them. So the Queens to Bad Bitches is just, it's like an evolution of um, from whence we came to we're so far from that now. And that's pretty much what queens to bad bitches mean to me. It means we were once on top and now like we're considering ourselves bad bitches. And I feel like that's like, that's just like a term for acceptance. I ask myself the question, what is a queen? I look at my mother and I consider my mother to be a queen. I watched her um, build our own empire. I watch her, and we don't have millions of dollars. We don't have the top luxury of everything, but we, we were rich in love. We were always sheltered. She showed me what hard work was and, and how to go, how to attain the things that I work for. 
not just how to get it and how to go about getting it, but how to attain it. And I, I, I feel like I'm gonna be the queen that set the ultimate example for my daughter. Yeah. I just wanna thank everyone who took part in the project, the artists, the makeup artists, the stylists, the hairdressers, um, even people just giving me words of encouragement. I just want to thank everyone. I mean, it was definitely a blessing of having you all take part in this project and bring my vision to life. And again, always make sure you know who you are because that's what makes you unique.